Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is May 28. Uh, well, you know, second. Oh, no. A couple more days, but it's it's near the last day of the May Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, maximum erase, erasure value. So I usually stop this live, so it's a little bit slow, you know, go with the flow or fast forward or whatever you need to do. Watch it on 2x. Okay. So you're giving it away of positive interest numbs, and you want to erase a sub array containing elements, unique elements. The score you get is erasing the sum of the elements. Return the maximum score you can erase by, uh, you can get by erasing exactly one sub array. So this is going to be this is going to be sliding window and greedy. Um, basically, what you want to do is. Uh, yeah, you know, another another name for sliding windows is two fingers, right? Two pointers. So basically, you just take, for example, you get an array here. You have a left pointer and a right pointer. And then, you know, we, we can keep on adding stuff because it's sublist, meaning that it has to be contiguous. So you keep on adding stuff to the right, adding stuff to the right until, well, you can't add stuff to the right because there's two twos. Then you have to keep uh, subtracting stuff from the left until, you know, they're only until the invariant of this problem uh, or un until you know your for loop uh, or your loop invariant will be that at the end of the loop everything is unique and then you just take the sum so let let's do that uh, let, let's kind of let's do it that way and yeah uh, hope, I mean I, I know mm, did I go too fast do I need to explain a little bit more uh, but yeah but basically just you know you have two two fingers two pointers um, and then you just keep on going and then at um, the invariant that you want to maintain at the end of the loop is just, um, yeah, it's just that all the items have one item, and then you just, you know, take the maximum sum. So let, let's get started. Let's just say the maximum sum is, are there negative numbers? Um, no, okay. Mm, would negative numbers be the same? I think negative numbers would still be, no, because, yeah, because uh, with negative numbers, positive uh with negative numbers you don't the greedy part doesn't work anymore so eh, you might have to do something more nuanced than that um but but i think that's also just maybe some variation of cadane with dp or something like that i don't know we play around with that upsolve that later but yeah but yeah now you, you know you have a left away element and a right away element uh you could you could write this in a couple of ways usually i write this Actually, with a for loop, uh, so I write something like this, but um, but let, let's let's write it more intuitively, maybe. Oops, uh, like this, and then at the very end we increment by one. Um, so at at the end of the loop of of the loop, uh, the the range between left and right inclusive um, yeah it contains unique items right that's basically it uh, so I was just trying to figure out how to phrase it so let's also keep track of uh, you could probably do this with with um, so this is basically a frequency table. You can do this with probably actually just something way less, um, but like maybe even a set. But I'm a little bit lazy, so so I'm just going to do it this way um, because you can generalize this a little bit more where if you use a set, it's specific to this uh, case. But yeah, but basically now, um, let's say, you know, you have two pointers and now you're, you're adding um, num sub right to the, to, the, to the set, right? Or to the range, sorry. Uh, so yeah, so we have, this is our current number that we're adding, and then we want to increment that by one. Um, so while f sub num sub right sub uh, is greater than one, meaning that is no longer unique, we want to move left, right? So let's move left. Whoops, um, one, and then we increment by one. And of course, th this loop may look a little weird, and and it does take some time getting used to, but but this loop will always end because at a certain point, um, because of, is it pigeonhole? Maybe not pigeonhole, but just, just um, what is that uh, fundamental value theorem kind of thing where like, you, to uh, similar, where you have to go like, um, you know, in the, in the base case where all the, 
all the numbers are whatever, uh, you can imagine that it just the range goes to zero, or the size of the range goes to zero, and th this will be true. Even though it'll be true, or it'll, it'll stop being true before that because if you have just one element, this will be false, right? Um, so yeah. So okay. So then now, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we have to keep track of the sum. So let's just say total. And when we add a number to the range, we add it to the total, and we remove a number to the from the range. We you know remove the left pointer to the one. And then now at the way end, we just do max as you go to the the max of all the totals, and that's all you get. Uh, hopefully that's right. I'm a little tired today. Sorry, I don't know if you can see my eyes like just being tired, but that's basically the idea. Um, <clears throat> yep, let's give it a submit. Maybe I missed something with like one element or something weird. Uh, okay, so it looks good. But yeah, so what's the complexity of this? And you know, way intuitive, or you know, you're you're starting out. You see, okay, two while loops. It's gonna be n square, right? Uh, and given that n is 10 to the fifth, that's going to be too long. So why does this work? Well, it turns out that because if you look at the two pointers independently, um, even though they're two while loops, like I said, the left will only be incremented n times, and the right will only be incremented n times, right? So there's actually two times n, because if you have two pointers, each of them can only move n times, so it's going to be two times n. Um, in terms of space, because we do keep track this way, um, It's going to be linear space. Well, okay, obviously, this is obvious. What I'm thinking of, can you do this in all one space? And I think the answer is yes. Um, hmm. Now, um, can you? Eh. If you know you've seen a number, then you can, but maybe not. Maybe it's just set. Maybe, never mind. Um, mm, yeah, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, so this is linear time, linear space. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, do I have anything else? Let's take a look at the hints. Okay. Two pointers, okay. Uh, but yeah. Um, okay. Linear time, linear space, that's all I have. Uh, it, it's Friday. Uh, have a good weekend. And, you know, if, if you're ha having a long weekend, you know, have a good long weekend. Uh, see you later. Have a good time. And to good mental health. Bye-bye.